Okay, this is the shape tweening video, and um, what we're going to do is uh, I'm going to talk to you a little bit about uh, what he does in the shape tweening video in chapter 9.1. He creates this snow avalanche as a transition, so I wanted to explain a little bit more what, it, uh, what a transition is and how he uses shape tweening to that effect. So first of all, the first thing let's talk about is a shape tweening. Uh, there's all kinds of transitions, so right off the bat, uh, I'm going to just point out that my window size here, if I click on the background, and I can see here size 550 by 400. Okay, that's fine. Now the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go over here to my shape tool, the rectangle, and um, I'm going to make uh, the, sh the uh, stroke none by putting the no sign in for the stroke, and then the color I'm going to make it just red, okay, bright red. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, make this small now. And maybe I'll do this fit in window. There we go. And what I'll do is draw a little um, red rectangle, okay. So that's on frame one right there. And now what I'm going to do is. Um, and this would be, let's say, uh, this would be a transition for a wipe. And what is a wipe? It's when we're watching some, a movie and all of a sudden it changes from one scene to the next by the new scene sliding across the screen, right? So to do that, what we might want to do is make a, a shape tween of this red box opening up and um, sliding across the screen. So what I'll do is I'll just go out to, um, let's say here, like frame 10 or 12, right? And I'll insert a keyframe right here. Right click, insert keyframe. Okay, so now I've got a keyframe on 1 and a keyframe on 12. I also could have just clicked it and pressed F6 on my keyboard. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to get my transform tool, which is right here. And then I'm going to just grab this little anchor point here. And what I want to do, that's it. I want to just drag this across. And that's not dragging correctly, so let's see here. Let's see if I can get this correct here. Drag this straight across the window. Okay, and that looks pretty good. So um, I use the transform tool to drag that straight across the window. So now on keyframe one, my little red rectangle is this big, and on keyframe 12, it's this big. And now to make a shape tween, all I have to do is right click in between and choose create shape tween. Or I click on the first keyframe between the two, open up my property window, and change tween from none to shape. None to shape. And now you'll see that if I play the movie, I'll press enter to play, you'll see that the red box opens up across the screen and now I have what would be a wipe. Okay. Now um, it's just a red box for right now. Now what was nice about his piece that he did was that what he did was he um, made snowfall and that was his idea was to make snowfall. So it kind of went with the theme of snowboarding. So maybe there's some idea that you might have that would be a, a good way to go. Let's try to do a different one, shall we? Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn off the eyeball on this and make a new layer. And I'm now on layer two. And then this time, what I'll do is um, I'll do something um, similar, except I'm going to do uh, slightly different. So I'll get the rectangle tool. I'll get the oval. Same thing with red here. And I'll make a uh, small circle in the center. Okay, there it is. Then I'll get my move tool, the black arrow, and I want to position this right in the center. So I'll just kind of move that down a little bit. All right. And okay, that's good. And then I'll put a keyframe on 12, F6, get my transform tool. Of course, you see it's very hard to grab it when it's like that. Let's see if I can inch up and get it. There we go. And I'm going to need to hold down my shift key to constrain proportions. Okay, and I'll hold down the shift key. This is going to have to get really big to make it go across the whole screen. All right, I'll hold down the space bar and I can move my stage a little bit. Let's see here, that's not working. I'm going to have to drag that up to 
grab this. There we go. Hold down the shift key to constrain proportions so that it stays a perfect circle. And I want this to cover the entire stage. Okay. And now, let's see here, now it covers the entire stage. So now to make my shape tween, all I have to do is click on the first keyframe, tween, and shape. And now, as you can see, click on the background, and then I'll use the comma and the period on the keyboard to advance. You'll see the red circle getting bigger. We don't see the, the red rectangle on layer one because I turned the eyeball off. I can even lock that layer. Okay, so this was a wipe transition, let's say, and this is, let's say, a um, an iris. Iris, I'll call it iris out. Okay, now, all right, his was the snow uh, deal, and mine is this iris. So what does this mean, by the way, that, uh, you know, I, it was kind of strange what he was talking about. How does that work? Well, I'm going to show you right now. What I'm going to do is I'm going to pull this down so I can get a little more space here. And I'm going to make two uh, two new layers, okay? And I'm going to put the iris all the way at the top, okay? So now I have the iris at the top, and I have uh, layer four and layer three. Okay, on layer three, you see I've got this photograph here of water lilies that I had imported into my library. By the way, I could just drag and drop an a JPEG image right into the library and automatically imports if you just drag and drop it right into the library. So anyway, I'm going to just drag this um, water lilies picture out onto layer three. Okay, it's a little bit big, so I could hold down my shift key and make it a little bit smaller. Want to fit, right? All right. Okay, so there's the water lilies, right, on layer three. And I'll just double click right that and call it, say, lily. Okay, and then on layer four, on the layer above it, I want the um, sunset. Okay, so let's see here. I'll just drag and drop that sunset on top. All right, it's also a little big. I'll hold down the shift key. I'm doing this with a transform tool, by the way. Free transform tool, that is. Okay. Okay, so.